All right, Wanda Faye. I'm here. Jesus. And the fan's on? This is terrifying. It's not so bad, man. These are the, so we go up right behind these bricks. Uh, you're gonna find bodies inside coffins, right? You found her? Yeah. And someone's put flowers on that. Huh? Someone's put flowers on that. Wait, uh, where is she? Right here. Carl Privet. Oh, that's her. And Alta Mae Privet. And yeah, her name's not on it. <sighs> what do you mean her name's not on it? Her name's not on it. How does that work? Well, these are built for two, right? So when you pay for the crypt, you get two. Oh, a name above and a right? name below. But they made an exception for mom, and they put her in, in here with my memo and my daddy Carl. So she's third? So she's the third. There's three people in There's there. There's three people in there. Now, she's cremated, so she's just a, a little urn of ashes. You're positive. Positive, 100%. I, I, I put her in there, Jesse. I, I literally stood right here in a little lift. And, and, and they cracked that wide open, and then I just set her down in there. I could reach out and touch Daddy Carl's, uh, Daddy Carl's coffin if I wanted to. Wow. Yeah. But Daddy Carl's corpse and Memo's corpse and Mom's ashes all right there. That's insane. Now, we got something we got to do. What are you... What are you doing? I'm calling somebody. What? Calling somebody. It's okay. Bear with me, alright? Yeah, you just, I mean, doesn't seem like you've been in a good headspace since we left the house, bro. I know, this is an important call, bud. Give me one sec. He's not even going to answer. Who's he? It's my brother. You and your brother close? Kind of. I mean, not really. We talk once or twice a year. Hello, you've reached Brian Williams. Leave your name and number at the time you call, and I'll get back to you shortly. Thank you. Hey, Bubba. I'm sure you're sleeping. I want to call and ask a favor of you. Um, you remember... I'm in Big Stone Gap, Powell Valley Memorial Grounds, and I'm here at Mom's grave. And you told me you would, uh, you pay the 300 bucks to get Mom's name put on the thing. That's been about 10 years. Time to get it done, okay? I love you, but it's an embarrassment that her name ain't on here. She deserved a lot of things, but she didn't deserve an unmarked grave, Bubba. Okay? I love you. Get it done. Wow. Who put flowers on there? I mean, they're clearly... They look pretty fresh, man. Yeah. I, I, they might be plastic. Some of these are. These are poinsettias, so I think those Yeah, are. I mean, dude, there's definitely ones that don't have flowers on them, so it's not like they put them on all of them right, either. Exactly, yeah. Mom, mom would come here every month, every month, at the beginning of every month, and she would pull the old flowers down and throw them away, and she would put up brand new flowers for Mom and Daddy Carl because she loved them so much, and this is the only place in the world she wanted to be, was right there, and by God, now she is. Is it normally unlocked, dude? No. You're, you're supposed, a family member is supposed to have a key. They lock it up every night because you could imagine, you saw what happened in my house, people vandalize, right? People come in here and destroy these tombstones so they could crack through that marble and get into one What of are the odds then this is unlocked? One in a million, brother.
One in a million. Does this freak you out at all? Yeah. Last time I sat in this chair, in this room, was the day we buried her on October 8th, 9th, 2000, 2009. Almost 10 years ago today. You think she's here right now? Maybe that's why the fan's on. If she was here right now with us, like watching, you think she would do anything? Do you even believe in that? I think she can see. I think she knows on some level. Hey mom, listen up. I tried to go to the house because you weren't there. And I don't know if you're here, but I want to tell you something. I'm okay. I know the last time we talked, I was on disability. I was damn near 600 pounds. I was stuck in that miserable apartment. No hope of making money. Do you remember that YouTube video I filmed of you? Thousands of people seen it, tens of thousands. And I know you're embarrassed, but they love you because you gave birth to me. <laughs> and uh, I know this won't make too much sense to you, but 4.5 million people have watched my videos. A hundred, sorry, one billion views almost, mom. One billion, one billion video watches. Can you imagine? And, and just two days ago, I was in Pennsylvania at a convention that I, I was headlining and people stood in line to shake my hand. And mom, people said, people said I've saved their lives. And people said I've helped them lose weight. And people said I've helped them through tough situations like the ones we was in. And uh, all the things you gave me the one I use to this day is I remember to help people it's just like you did okay God knows I ain't perfect and neither was you and uh, and uh, But I promise you, I promise you, I'm going to do more good than bad. I promise you, okay? And, uh, I promise you, I'm going to make the world better, just like you did, okay? I got married. I wanted you to meet her. It didn't work out. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, she had enough sense to leave. <laughs> I wish you'd left dad. I wish you'd made a better life for yourself. I'm sorry I couldn't have helped. After all you did, I hope you know, you did far more good than you did bad.
And I'm sorry I let the bad hurt me for so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love you. I always have, I always will. I want you to know, I understand. It was hard. And I know you done your best. I really know you did. You said you ruined my life. You remember, it's the last thing you said to me. And at the time, I thought you did. But I told you then, you made me the man I am. And I'm proud of who I am. You remember I said that? Well, this time I mean it. I'm proud. I forgive you, Wanda Faye. I, I do. Daddy Carl Memo. I know we weren't close, but I love you. I, I do. Thank you for giving me my life. Thank you for bringing me into this world. Thank you for giving me the chance that you gave me. And you're right, you fucked it up. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you know? But, uh... It was salvageable. Not your house. Sorry about that. Sorry, Daddy Carl. One more thing. So I don't think I'll be back. Okay? You left me that house in case I needed it. I want you to know, I never will, okay? Everything you wanted for me, I got. I have acted, and I made people laugh. I made people cry. save lives. I lost weight. At least as much as I could. I got my teeth fixed. And, you know, I bought my dream home right there in Fayetteville where you sent me. Five bedroom, three bath. You remember Chad? He's my best friend. And he takes care of me. You remember your little Shih Tzu that girl? I got one just like him. It's not a Shih Tzu, he's a beautiful little dog. As long as she can meet him. Okay. Hey, Daddy Carl, I forgive you. Every mean, nasty thing you ever said. And I do remember the good times, I do. Mom, I'm sorry I didn't get to know you much. Uh, Alzheimer's is a hell of a thing. But I remember how you liked to talk in Pig Latin, and I know how you made me laugh when I was a kid. Mom, 
I want to say you did good. But you really didn't. <laughs> but you know what? You did good enough. So thanks. I love you. Goodbye.